Hey everyone, welcome to day 13 of Vlogmas. As well as being a Vlogmas video, this is also the introductory video to what will be my main 2022 project pan. So this is my Disney World project pan. It is a joint project pan with my friend Lauren. I will put a screenshot of her Instagram up so that you can go check it out and I will also link it in the description box down below. We have booked to go to Florida next year to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World. The trip was originally planned for this year um, but obviously things have been what they have been globally. Luckily for us Disney have extended their 50th anniversary celebrations so we will go next year and still get to experience them and we have decided to do a little Disney themed project pan to help us count down, get rid of some stuff hopefully before we go on holiday. I hope you enjoy following along with us and let's get into the products I am panning. First category is themed around the fact we are going for the 50th anniversary and Disney's 50th anniversary theme is iridescent. So our first category had to be an iridescent product. For that category I have picked my Colourpop Frozen Lip Gloss. Does this actually have? Yes, Mythic Journey is the shade. So it's from the Frozen 2 collection. I'm quite bad with these sort of collection products. I got these in boxes um, and especially if I've got something in like a box I want to leave it pristine so I'm deliberately putting this into the project so that I will use it because I have never used this. I'm not a massive lip gloss person so I feel like unless I force myself to use up lip glosses I also generally don't finish them up but yeah this one is like a double whammy because it's a lip gloss in limited edition packaging in a box so it's actually a triple whammy and um, so if I don't put this in a project like this I will never finish it. That is the plan is to finish it by the end of the project so Product number one. As you can see behind me, if you're not a regular viewer to my channel, you might be like, what is going on? I've got a paint swatch, that is the headboard to my old bed. Things are being built up here. It's not very glamorous around here at the moment. Um, so I am redecorating and this all kicked off way back when and then the first person who was meant to come in to do some work let us down and didn't turn up and then all the other work has been pushed back because of that but all of my things were like packed up and boxed away for this first person coming in so I actually don't have this product to show you at the moment but I really want to get started with the other products so Product number two, the category is a product that links to your favourite ride. My favourite ride is Peter Pan's Flight. I'm not a thrill seeker, like I love the shows, I love the parades, I love the music, you know, I love just walking up and down Main Street. I'm not somebody who's there for the rides as such, the rides are sort of an added bonus to the shows and the parades and everything being beautiful, that you know, that's that's Disney to me, is, is more that side of it. Um, so yeah, my favourite ride is actually Peter Pan's Flight and in ABH subculture palette there is a shade called Dawn. So in Peter Pan they take the second star to the right and straight on till morning, which is kind of Dawn. It's a very tenuous link, but I really couldn't think or find anything else sort of more appropriate. So we're going for Dawn from the ABH subculture palette and the plan is to hit Pan. Now I've basically never used this shade. That palette is one that I wanted for ages and eventually got and then have just never used. So aiming to hit pan on it. Basically it's a brand new shadow. We'll see if it happens. Fingers crossed. I had a bad time with my Modern Renaissance palette in my 2021 project pan so it's probably a terrible idea because that Modern Renaissance palette wasn't new. I was getting my use out of that. This is brand new but fingers crossed we manage it. The goal is to hit pan see if it happens. I actually managed to find it before the video had to go live thankfully so this is the shade as you can see completely untouched. I'll do a little swatch so that you guys can see it. Um, so it's just a nice transition shade. I'm hoping I should be able to to hit pan in it. Um, this obviously was not taken on December 1st the same as the rest of them but we're just going to count it as that because it was packed away in a box anyway so this is what it looked like on December 1st. So it's this shade here, Dawn, 
and we are aiming to hit pan by the end of the project. Category number three is themed around the fact that we are staying at the All Star Movies Resort at Disney. So a product inspired by a Disney movie and for that I am tagging in my Anna lip gloss which is from the same collection as the Mythic Journey lip gloss. This one is called Free Spirit. So two lip glosses in this project pattern, both brand new, unused, completely full. Aiming to finish both, see if it happens or not but it would be very very nice if it did and it's never going to happen if I don't put them in projects so both these lip glosses are in the project and I'm aiming to finish both of them by the end of the project so we shall see. The next category is called Return to the Magic and it is a product that you bought on a previous trip to Walt Disney World and I have picked my Guerlain number no. 3 Rouge G lipstick. I'm a big fan of the Rouge G line, you'll know that if you're a regular viewer. I love um, you know, buying the cases and buying the lipsticks and making it up. This is shade number no. 3. It's quite a neutral shade so I'm hoping, I'll do a swatch of it there, I'm hoping to be able to kind of use it quite regularly and get some good use out of it. Now I have lots of lip products and I do want to be rotating through them so I'm not putting any mad goals on this but I would quite like to use up down to the etching of the Guerlain imprint on it. That is my goal is to hit down to that. It's all we're aiming to do. I'm hoping that it's a doable thing. I feel like I've put some pretty big goals in here so far for somebody who is not the best at project planning as much as I do it and I have absolutely no regrets about doing it because it definitely means I make progress. I'm not somebody who's like an all-star project patter so I'm a bit nervous especially now that England have reintroduced masks which they never went away in Scotland but I kind of hope the fact that England had gotten rid of them meant that maybe like we were getting to that phase and now they've just backtracked so I'm not sure how far away, I mean, how long is a piece of string with this whole situation? I don't know, maybe putting a lipstick in and two lip glosses is really not a sensible move, but yeah. But hopefully that should match quite nicely as well with the Anna lip gloss, so I can hopefully wear the two at the same time. We'll see how it goes. And the next category is World Showcase and it is a product from one of the countries around the World Showcase. So I am sticking with Guerlain which is obviously where my lipstick is from that I actually bought at the French Pavilion at World Showcase. And I am putting in this shower gel. So this is the Mon Guerlain shower gel. So I have marked it there, you'll see it better in the cutaways anyway. So I've talked about this in my 12 Pants of Christmas project which also has a shower gel in it. I have a bit of a thing about buying fancy shower gels and then being really sort of stingy with them. It's it it's mm, it's a sort of very literal washing money down the drain moment, and I'm a bit like, oh my god, can only use this on special occasions. But I've had this for so long, like I need to just use it up. It's it's going to go off if I don't use it up, so I need to use it up, and I'm hoping putting it in this project will like force me to use it, and because. Even though I'm not the best project planner in the world, I just like to make things more difficult for myself. I've got two bonus products connected to this, which are my matching Mon Guerlain body lotion. So that is how much is left of that. So I'm hoping to finish this up as well. And I've also got my 30ml of my Mon Guerlain perfume. I have a 100ml of this as well. So I really want to use this one up and get it out and then just have one bottle left. These three are my World Showcase products. This is the official one that we are like marking and measuring and want done but the plan is by putting this one in if I use this I will also use these two up so that's the World Showcase goal. The next category is Mickey's Very Merry Christmas and it is a product from a Christmas collection. And if you have watched my 2021 project pan, you already know what this is. It is this bright pink blush from this Hourglass palette. So 
This was a Christmas collection a number of years ago now, I want to say maybe 2016. I've had this for far too long. It was in last year's project pan and we had it broke and we repressed it and it, it's just been a bit of a mess so I really just want to get this finished up this year. Pink blush from this and again because I can't just do anything by halves we have a bonus product. Look at this. So this is from Shantikai and it's actually from this year's holiday collection. So I technically shouldn't have this yet because it's actually a Christmas gift but I was like can I just put it in my project pan please. This packaging is absolutely just beautiful but I put a highlight in my 2021 project pan really struggled with it and then I said when I eventually hit pan I took it out of the project and I said like I had asked for the Charlotte Tilbury um, Sculpt and Glow highlight duo thing last Christmas and it basically went the whole year and didn't use it because I was using the product in my project pan so I got this or I will get this this Christmas we're not going to make great progress on this by update one. That's what we're really saying here because I have to give it back. Because in my house we like to, you know, we all go to bed on Christmas Eve and our presents are there on Christmas Day. It's like magic, so that's how it works in my house. So I do need to give this back so that Santa can wrap it up. That's another new highlight that I brought in, so I want to get my use of it from that point of view. But the other thing is that this has the most beautiful imprint on it. And I know like I know myself well enough to know that if I don't put this in a project and just force myself to start using it I will try and keep this pristine and like I really need to get out of that headspace like that is why I've got so much of the stuff that I do have because I buy things and then I want to keep them good and keep them pristine and not ruin them and makeup is there to be used it's going to go off whether I use it or not and the thing is I love this packaging so much that what I was thinking was if I ever finish this up I could repress something else into this packaging just to keep using it because it's so lovely so if I actually do that and I'm using it then I get to take the packaging out and use it and see it more often than I do if I decide to like put it in a drawer and keep it good in its little pouch and everything. I want to use this I feel like the only way I'm going to make myself use it is by putting it in the project so we are putting it in as I say it is brand new so I'm not expecting anything massive to happen within the year but yeah just use it and see some progress and it's just a bonus item alongside hopefully finishing the pink blush. The pink blush from the Chantikai collection I've asked for this and the eyeshadow um, but the pink blush from this collection is a really sort of bright dolly pink that's similar to that hourglass pink blush so I feel like the two going together will kind of be quite what Shantikai envisioned when they put out their collection so I feel like they'll go together quite well and it'll be a good combo and we'll hopefully finish the blush and just make some kind of headway into this highlight. The next product is Hollywood Studios, a Hollywood inspired product and for that I was thinking about how the Hollywood blow dry is this like great sort of big beautiful bouncy blow dry. So I am putting in this product here, so this is called Liquid Spell, it's a reinforcing body fine fluid for sensitised or fine hair from Daveness. It's something to make my hair big and strong and healthy and bouncy and blow dried and I thought it would be quite a satisfying one to watch as well because it is clear so you'll be able to see the markings really really clearly as they go down and the other thing about this is that I feel like my hair care inventory is the least in, in both value and quantity I think perfume might be lower in it in quantity but it's definitely higher in value so I think my hair care is the least problematic basically of my inventories but I feel like the knock on for that is it's the one that I maybe go oh I'm not too worried about my hair care, my hair care is not out of control the way that like my makeup stash is, um, my skincare stash definitely was, I feel like my skincare is getting under control um, but I actually I only wash my hair once a week so I have a lot of products for use on wet hair or for blow drying hair or for washing hair when that's something I'm not doing all that often whereas at least with skincare I apply it daily so I feel like I've maybe underestimated how much of a problem my hair care inventory is because although it's not the most out of control in terms of the value or the quantities it's also 
too much for the hair routine that I actually have, which is quite minimal. I feel like putting this in, actually seeing how much progress I make on the likes of a blow dry product across a year will be very, very eye opening for me and hopefully make me more aware and make me not make any more silly purchases that are like, oh, I can justify this because, like, you know, my hair care category is really not that bad. Like, it's still too much stuff at the end of the day. So, I feel like this will make me really take note of how long it takes me to get through hair products. Then we have got Animal Kingdom next, which is an animal inspired product. For that, I am putting in my Chanel Lily Wong perfume. I haven't marked this bottle. I talk about this, I think, in every project pan that I put a perfume into, but I'm like, I just can't bring myself to mark perfume bottles. Like, they're just, they're too perfect, they're too good, um, and they just they look beautiful on a shelf, even once they're empty, so I very rarely throw them away. So, yeah, I'm not marking this, but you will see in the cutaways, obviously how much product is in it because it's a completely clear, um, what's the word? Bottle. Totally blanked on the word bottle there. And my aim is to try and finish this within the project. We shall see, it's only a 75ml and obviously I've started using it already so hopefully that should be doable, fingers crossed. Our next category is Lightning Lane which is a product you can use up quickly. And I don't know how quickly I'll use this up, but my MAC Studio Fix Concealer has pan in it already, so I'm hoping that I should be able to finish this within the first like three months or so of the project. That is my Lightning Lane pick. And the inspiration for the Lightning Lanes product was originally that it would be a fast pass product that you can do quickly, but Fast passes have been discontinued, so that is actually our last category, which is Fast Pass, a discontinued product. And I'm going to try and finish up my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation, which has been discontinued. You'll be able to see where I've marked it, and I don't know if it will be very obvious because I think it maybe looks like I've marked it higher than it is, but no, you can see that. So, this is one of these foundations that has pigment and then like water there, and it sort of separates. So I've marked it at the top of the water. I was concerned it would just look like I'd marked, like I should have marked it there, but I shouldn't have, and it's fine. You can see it. So, um, yeah, the plan is to try and finish this within the project. So that is everything that I'm putting into my 2022 Walt Disney World project pan. Thank you very much for watching the intro. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're looking forward to the update when it does come. I am doing vlogmas at the moment, so I will see you tomorrow with a new video. Bye.